morning dear students in today's class we will see the properties of laplace transform so right now we have here uh, three important properties based on this laplace transform so first property is if laplace transform of f of t is equal to f dash of s then to this f of t if e raised to at is multiplied then the transformation uh, will be converted uh, that s in terms of what here s minus a if it is e raised to at will get s minus a if it is if it is e raised to minus at it will come out here s plus a means will work out the same but uh, when will get a result of laplace transform in that laplace transform will replace s by either s minus a if it is e raised to at uh, and s plus a if it is e raised to minus at so this we called a first shifting property or shifting property because shifting from s to what here s minus a or s plus a so this concept is nothing but one of the first property of this laplace transform so second uh, property is if l of f of t is equal to f dash of s so this is our basic uh, definition then laplace transform of if t raised to n is multiplied to f of t then we can uh, uh, write this one as minus 1 raised to n d raised to n upon d s raised to n so this is a differentiation of your f dash of s with respect to s n times so this we call a derivative of the transform or uh, so here we'll go for maximum uh, t t uh, t or t square or t cube at the most means up to third differentiation we can work out so this is one of the second uh, shifting property of our uh, laplace transform similarly we have one more third uh, shifting property uh, if laplace transform of f of t is equal to f dash of s then uh, Laplace transform of f of t upon t if it is divided by t then it is integration if it is multiplied it is differentiation divided by t it will be what here integration but integration from 0 to infinity the function of s that is f dash of s ds we have to integrate then we need to apply the upper and lower limit and we will get so these all three properties are very important uh, to solve the examples based on this Laplace transform. So we have seen multiplied a function by function cos into cos or cos into sine we have simplified but if it is other than that comes we need to apply the particular shifting properties and all. So we will see the examples now. So first example is find the Laplace transform of e raised to minus 2t into 2 times cos phi t minus sine phi t. So this is a, a first example. So we'll see uh, which property is going to be applied here. So first solution. So here we need to find the result of L of e raised to minus 2t into 2 times cos of phi t minus sine of phi t. So here f of t is 2 times cos of phi t minus sin of phi t. So here because uh, I will not include this e raised to minus 2t because this is a first shifting because e raised to 2t or minus 2t or e raised to minus 8t or e raised to plus 8t if it is multiplied to the given uh, any one of the function then it is going to call as first shifting property. So leaving this e raised to minus 2t so I am going to consider this as uh, f of t here. So first uh, we'll apply Laplace transform to this. So L of f of t is equal to 2 is a constant L of cos of phi t minus L of sine of phi t. So first uh, we'll get the Laplace transform of this. That is 2 times Laplace transform of cos of phi t is s divided by s square plus phi square phi square is 25 i'm writing directly minus sine phi t means a will come a value is phi so phi divided by s square plus 25 so 
so we got this so better will uh, simplify because the denominators are same so uh, it will be s square plus 25 so this will become 2s minus 5 so this is Laplace transform of 2 times cos of phi t minus sin of phi t so this is the result of that now we'll apply we'll multiply as per the question e raised to minus 2t on both the side so what happens here l of e raised to minus 2t into 2 cos phi t minus sin of phi t then what happens here so here i will write this one as 2s minus 5 divided by s square plus 25 bracket so replace s by s minus because of this min, uh, plus so because of this uh, minus we will write s plus 2 means s will be replaced by s plus 2 so therefore so this will become what here so 2 into s wherever s is there you have to replace s plus 2 because of this shifting property it will become s uh, 2 into s plus 2 minus 5 divided by s plus 2 whole square plus 25 so simplify finally so it will become open the bracket 2s plus 2 twos of 4 minus 5 divided by uh, open the bracket so a plus b whole square s square plus 4 plus 2 uh, 4s a plus b whole square simplification plus 25 so therefore it will be finally 2s minus 1 divided by s square plus 4s 25 plus 4 is 29 so therefore so laplace transform of e raised to minus 2t into 2 times cos of phi t minus sine of phi t so this is the result by using the first shifting property similarly i will go for the one more example here so cos square of 3t so solution so here l uh, let our function f of t is what here cos square of 3t but this is not a, a direct problem so as we know that cos square can be written as uh, 1 plus cos of the angle 2 uh, cos of the angle uh, cos of 2 times the angle 2 times the angle means 2 into 3 will become 60 divided by 2 so this is f of t so therefore uh, take laplace on both the side so laplace of f of t is nothing but 1 by 2 is a constant laplace of 1 plus cos of 60 so which is a nothing but 1 by 2 i will separate it laplace of 1 plus laplace of cos of 60 so therefore 1 by 2 times laplace of 1 is 1 upon s plus laplace of cos 60 is s divided by s square plus 6 square so which is nothing but finally so laplace of cos square of 3t will become uh, 1 by 2 1 by s plus s square divided by s square plus 36 so here here we don't have any shifting property and all if at all so just i want to elaborate this so if so this is the end of the problem if the question is find Laplace of e raised to minus t into cos square of 3t. So what happens here? So anyhow we have worked till here. Because of this e raised to minus t what happens? Laplace of 
e raised to minus t into cos square of 3t means what happens here uh, 1 by 2 times 1 by s min plus s by s square plus 36 so here because of the shifting property uh, s will be replaced by uh, s plus 1 because coefficient of t is 1 s plus 1 so what happens here it become 1 by 2 times uh, 1 upon s plus 1 plus s plus 1 divided by s plus 1 whole square divided by 36 so hope uh, uh, it is clear if it is shifting properties applied so this resultant uh, you are going to get here so this is the result of laplace transform of e raised to minus t into cos square of 3t okay so this is the problems so we will see the few more examples in the next lecture.